NASA announced that it is looking for people from diverse backgrounds to become astronauts for future missions to Mars. <laughs> Good luck getting black people on a ship to a new world. <laughs> The producers of the upcoming James Bond movie, No Time to Die, announced that because of the coronavirus outbreak, they're pushing the movie's release back from April to November. Though I think they should have still released it in April, but taken out the no. <laughs> Students at Penn State held a candlelight vigil for a campus Taco Bell that is closing. Because after you eat Taco Bell, it never hurts to light a candle. A North Carolina woman celebrated her 100th birthday by asking a sheriff's deputy to arrest her for the first time ever and take her to jail. And no need to look it up, she's white. <laughs> Don't... Dunkin' Donuts announced that every Friday in March, it will give away a free donut with a drink purchase. It's part of a promotion to launch their new slogan, Dunkin' Donuts, you can't die or beat us. <laughs> and now, once again, Weekend Update presents... The Weekend Update. The Weekend Update. Feel good. <coughs> this has been The Weekend Update. Two men were arrested in India trying to smuggle in whale vomit, or as it's known commercially, a shamrock shake. It was reported that as part of William Shatner's divorce settlement from his ex-wife, he will gain custody of the couple's supply of horse semen. Now, I don't want to speculate on what he's doing with all that horse semen, but the dude's almost 90 and his skin looks amazing. <laughs> A new study claims that negative gender stereotypes keeps boys from reading. And I was gonna read more on this study, but what am I, gay? <laughs> Relatives of an 11-year-old boy in England were fined after they got fed up with a boy playing Grand Theft Auto too much and let him drive a real car. Also fed up, the prostitutes he tried to run over.